Hi, this is Joshua from Better Dads Malaysia. Good evening and welcome back to our usual Friday session on Raising Hope. Now, tonight we have a very special guest and tonight it's about Raising Hope with Dr. Vincent Wong. I uh, presume that, you know, everybody is um, uh, a little bit concerned on mental wellness and also probably uh, uh, a bit concerned and worried about some of these uh, uh, negative impact that brought forth by the pandemic and uh, tonight uh, that's why we need to um, address and also to uh, make known of this uh, special uh, issue and dedicate this special session to talk about mental wellness and in fact tonight if you're aware uh, it's actually the world uh, suicide prevention day so um, um, we are so glad that tonight we have uh, Dr. Winston Wong um, um, as our special guest. And uh, let me do a little bit of introduction um, uh, on uh, Dr. Vincent Wong. Uh, Dr. Vincent Wong Chun Wai is actually a consultant psychiatrist uh, currently in private uh, practice. And he had uh, um, over 15 years of experience as mental health professional in various hospital and help people with various uh, mental health issues. And, uh, um, and also he actually gave a lot of uh, public talks in actually a lot of NGOs and uh, some of these um, NGOs that he need. Uh, um, and he is now the board member of Focus on the Family Malaysia and also a member of Malaysian Mental Health Association. Let us welcome Dr. Vincent Wong. Hi, hi, Dr. Hi, hi. hi Joshua. Hi, hi. Thank you. Thank you for taking this time. I know I know you are very busy uh, 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 and, you know, uh, in fact, it's not easy to allocate this time for, for this uh, recording session. It's my pleasure. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think, uh, yeah, let us just begin. And, and in fact, I, I um, you know, we had a call earlier. I just realized, uh, get to know that Dr. Vincent is actually uh, from Ipoh. So uh, for the audience out there, so tonight uh, probably because both of us are Ipoh Mali. Lah, huh? So so uh, bear with us and don't mind if we, do, uh, we mix a bit of English and Cantonese huh? because, you know, when we see our homemade, huh, we can't help it just speak Cantonese. Lah, huh? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's, thanks Joshua for your invitation uh, and from uh, Better Desk Malaysia. Yeah. So I'm so happy to be uh, here to share with you um, in some uh, aspect on mental health. And in fact, it is my passion. I have two passion in my life. The first is on mental health. Yeah. Um, the two actually on family well-being. So, mm -hmm. and that's why I am helping at uh, focus on the family Malaysia. So uh, Joshua, I will... I mean, the, if you have, I mean, I'll, I'll pass the floor to you. If you have any, you can start your questions. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Vincent. In fact, I, I think uh, um, we, we need not repeat any of this lah, huh, because I think the pandemic hit the country quite hard. And uh, uh, um, I think uh, since uh, end of June, where people started this uh, white flag movement, you know, because many are losing jobs. Um, yeah. And, and even some of this, you know, uh, came to a point that, you know, um, uh, they have mental issue, then they, they end their lives. In fact, it is very saddening. So um, hence, it, it create uh, a lot of, um, um, what do you say, a stress among people and family members. And I think since then, mental health wellness has been a, a, a topic concerned by many. In fact, I think this is one of the reasons uh, Better Dads Malaysia has been organizing talk uh, to talk about de-stress, de-escalating, and, and hopefully the topic would be uh, relevant to a lot of people. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know whether it is uh, the correct to, I mean, correct way to say that, you know, um, uh, although you know the negative impact and and you know economic situation we do not uh, have you no know, capacity to do much on that but then i i think uh in fact when that brought forth a lot of stress sometimes uh, people don't even aware that they are um probably they have issue or they they need help okay so i think people are facing stress okay but then how do we differentiate different kind of stress level i'm not sure if, if that's the correct word for that you know how do i know that if if i'm you know only too tired you know or restless or even you know uh, probably that could uh, uh, still manageable but how do i know that uh, uh, am i raising facing uh, anxiety or even you know uh, i'm that could uh, uh, end up in panic attack? I, I don't know you know the professional to, way to say so so dr vincent please help us on help us on this yeah thanks joshua for the question 
Well, uh, I think stress itself is a is a huge topic, and I think we can spend at least you know one to two hours to just talk about stress. Yeah. yeah. Um, but in a nutshell, actually, um, I would just share a little bit uh, about stress. Number one is actually, um, stress is not um always bad. You see, you know, oftentimes people associate stress with uh, something very negative. Oh, I'm so stressed. You know, or you, my workplace is all very stressed, la, You know, and things like that. Um, <laughs> I mean, isn't it? Yeah, Josh. So, um, but stress can be a good thing too. So if you want to categorize uh, what, how many types of stress, I would just say, just call it good stress and bad stress. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, um, and good stress is when uh, we have a little bit of stress, a little bit of push, a bit of motivation, a bit of deadlines that can, uh, you know, you need to wake up early, you know, and, and get, get for your, ex go for your exercise or, you know, and get started on your on your work or your or your business yeah and with that kind of uh, routine a healthy routine you know you actually become more productive yeah, yeah that's good stress and then so with a higher level of stress uh, it reach a peak we call it peak performance so mm. it is that is still healthy stress but then the curve actually it will kind of flatten you know and then eventually if the stress become uh, very intense or very prolonged, then the graph will begin to uh, go down. Then you call it uh, exhaustion. Uh, that is the time where, you know, you call it the stress is getting unhealthy. Yeah. Mm. So, so that is good stress and bad stress. Now, um, then what are the stress response? So when stress become overwhelming, yeah, Joshua. So, uh, there's this um, doctor many years ago called Dr. Hansal. Yeah, uh, let me spell his name. Dr. Hans, H-A-N-S-S-E-L-Y-E. -S -E. Mm. Dr. Hansal. And he actually described the stress response. You know, and he called it the fight and flight response. I'm sure most of us are, are familiar with this. Mm. You either fight or you flight. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You either face it head on, you know, and then... Uh, um and wrestle with it you know and, or you run away you you feel you don't feel like going to work that's a flight but do you know there's another f which is freeze you, <laughs> totally you know pengsan ho, you know suspended suspended you know you feel like oh my god you feel you feel like uh you, you don't you can't even get out of your bed or you feel like your mind goes blank. So that is the third F, the fight, the flight, and the freeze. So, and Dr. Hansau described the stress response as something very non-specific. So mm -hmm. that's the tricky part, meaning that it can range from having a headache or migraine or having a muscle pain all over or having a palpitation, your heart beating so fast, it's going to jump out or you, you start feeling very tense yeah, or um, you feel sweating or hand shaking. Yeah, so that is actually the stress response. Or even having gastric symptoms can yeah. be caused by stress. Yeah. How about sleepless night? Yeah. Well, if sleepless night, that means the stress is rather prolonged, uh, because uh, it, it went on for a while, and you know you start being so preoccupied with, uh. Yeah, some of the problem or issues it can be work it can be a difficult boss it can be a family marriage yeah so then you become so occupied with it and your mind become overactive and you find it difficult to to rest that mm. will cause insomnia yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. But you know, um, uh, Dr. Vincent, uh, I'm aware that you know sometimes uh, they have these articles online and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm aware that you know we, we shouldn't trust everything online. But then you know sometimes people are nervous, like what you said. You know they they have uh, different kind of responses. Um, um, how do we? How can we tell? You know whether we are only uh, uh, in the states of anxiety or you know. Uh, um, how to differentiate like panic, panic disorder or, or whether, you know, we do have depression or, or bipolar disorder. You know, I, I know these are all very technical terms, but um, uh, yeah. Yeah. How to differentiate that? Yeah. Yeah. A very good question. Um, 
those days, you know, when 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 we have uh, symptoms of uh, like feeling anxious or, or depression, uh, uh, um, you don't need just lump it, you know, in 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 Canada we call it sanking so yok lah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Like a uh, 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 <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So it's like oh, I love sanking so yok lah, or or you can say that I mean the um, so um, but now. Actually, we begin to understand uh, this things on Swai Rok uh, and uh, we start teasing it out into, okay, this is anxiety symptoms, okay? And mm. this is uh, uh, depressive symptoms, okay? And then uh, a, a more a rarer type uh, of uh, emotional condition is called bipolar disorder, meaning you go into a up and down, like a roller coaster mood. Like, like these are like more, more serious kind of case. Yeah, it- yeah. Bipolar can be quite serious. Uh, but, th- but some of them can function quite well when they are quite high and they have a lot of ideas. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. so we begin to categorize that. And then how to differentiate them? Um, well, uh, we actually use uh, what do you call that? A questionnaire mm-hmm. symptoms categorization. Okay. Oh. Meaning that uh, let's say you have a lot of, let's say the anxiety symptoms, uh, usually you feel very anxious, easily worried, uh, you feel very fearful mm-hmm. and uh, very panicky. Yeah. So all the symptoms of anxiety, actually it's like heart beating very fast. You find it difficult to breathe. Some even, some of them even feel like, oh, I'm good. I felt like I'm going to get a heart attack. So mm-hmm. you can see a heart specialist and they go for checkup, heart scan and they, everything turned out normal. So then the cardiologist tell them, you know, your heart is all right. Yeah. So then only they realize they have panic attack. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's panic. Then the depression is a different uh, category, different symptom cluster. Huh? Now, you know, now, you know, during COVID, we all talk about cluster, right? <laughs> so, but this one is a cluster of symptoms. And yeah. so such as uh, feeling low, persistently feeling low, uh, like for more than two weeks, Mm. Uh, and we call it loss of interest. You feel no motivation, no energy. You know, like, like, so, so don't want to. Hello. Mo, 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 Yes, yes. Some people, when they're depressed, uh, they're very irritable and very hot temper. Oh, yeah. Then, uh, yeah. I just want to interrupt a bit. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. you know, uh, because everybody is stuck at home, okay? Mm-hmm. The, um, the family member of, of, of your, or, or your spouse, you know, happened to lose a job or something like that, then uh, people would thought that, you know, it's only, um, uh, you know, uh, isolation fatigue and stuff like that. But that, that could be, you know, it could it could lead to something more serious, you know, but I, I don't want to be negative here mm-hmm. or you know, uh, jump into conclusion. But then um, I was thinking, you know, while, while you were sharing, you know, um, sometimes um, as a family members mm-hmm. or, 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 you know, or even parents since, you know, I think family wellness is very important, but yep. everybody's stuck at home, probably the, the chances of getting conflict, you know, it's, it's even higher than, yeah. than Thing like 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 while you're sharing all these um uh, symptoms and stuff like that how could a, a parents or a father or a family members could be uh you know of uh, how, how do we aware or then how how do we come in place whereby we could provide assistance or stuff like that mm. provide uh okay um actually you mentioned a very important point uh joshua because uh, you see yeah uh, uh as a family in order to function now uh, they already so many things, you know, uh, parents uh, or have to juggle with, isn't it? You know, you juggle with work, you have to juggle with the family, children, education, right. and, uh, you know, your finances, everything, lah, or even in-laws. Lah, or, or do with young children, you know, children, okay, caretaking, or, or even younger children. Now, now with the pandemic, uh, you, know, inclu- you know, it becomes even more challenging. There are more things very challenging, but now with the pandemic, it's even more correct. Even more because you now you're worried about contamination, you worry about infection, everything come bring back 
you know, have to clean, you have to bathe, you have to wash your hair, you know, you don't wash your hair, you sit on a sofa, you get scolded. Uh, so, it, more, more potential conflict, don't uh, you think so? Yes, yes, indeed, indeed. I, I think uh, in terms of the, uh, I mean, uh, both of us serve in uh, the family NGO. In fact, we have more cases or even, you know, um, uh, you know, more, what do you call that, uh, uh, fathers coming in and, and, you know, seeking help on this one. Because I think uh, they, they don't intend to have conflict even, you know, mm -hmm. but yeah. the or the situation just worsen the cases. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I give you an example, but I won't mention any name, you know. I mean, there's this, I got this couple, uh, uh, because the son is a young child, you know, three years old, you know, has a weak lungs. Uh, the, the son, the lung is a bit weak since young. Uh, so the, the wife is so worried, you know, okay, it's like, you know, um, so worried that if they get COVID, uh, uh, then if the infection is being passed on to the three-year-old son, uh, then worry that the son uh, may have difficulty because of his weak lung. So, so the, uh, I mean, the husband who actually, uh, he has to work from home and, you know, he got another job offer, okay, and then he has to go to office. So, which is a, a more, more attractive, more lucrative job. But then the wife said, oh, you know, I don't think you should, you should take, it, take up the job. So, mm. that is one. So, he, it's a way uh, it affects decision making. Number two is um, the I mean the couple the wife also very concerned if the, if they go out you know so everything have to buy even grocery have to buy everything go what do you call that buy online you know but buy out, in fact it would cost actually uh, uh, extra cost extra you know yeah can then cannot go for your walk you know the only thing he can do the husband can do is just drive around ah uh, so it become more challenging yeah so how does how the us i mean husband you know i mean since we are you know this is a better desk malaysia maybe focus a bit on how daddy uh, i think uh i think we have to we have to Prioritize lah, yeah. I mean the of course, uh, the family well being is number one. The health of every family member is priority. True. So we have to make some sacrifices of our 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 use our previous lifestyle. You know, let's say you used to like to go to the go and have a drink. You know, or tetare. You know, even now they allow you to go <laughs> if you're vaccinated. But it's because you, of the young one, huh? Yeah, yeah. So you you have to you have to I think think of the prioritize the family well being. Correct, correct. I think uh, as for the uh, um, audience uh, 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 on live, you know, in fact, I think uh, one of the very critical role uh, of a father not only to be the breadwinner or provider, but also the protector of the family. So I think uh, that there is a reason for the wife to 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 be worried lah. Huh? So. Mm -hmm. I, I am aware that, you know, um, even uh, while Dr. Vincent is sharing, it's, it's a tough decision. In fact, it's not easy to make it one. Oh. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, in conjunction with, you know, I just want to uh, deep dive a little bit uh, uh, more, you know, as in, you know, uh, because tonight it's uh, World Suicide Prevention Day. So uh, while, you know, uh, I think um, if... Um, uh, some of your family members or even, you know, someone close to you is very down with some of these set uh, symptoms, you know, or probably they have some uh, uh, issue. But before, you know, even, you know, but because, because like what you said, you know, so, so, so uh, probably, you know, you, you, you might worry that it will lead to, you know, possible suicide. But how, how do we, you know, in fact, uh, talk to them first to prevent possible suicide, then later to convince them to seek for professional help? You know, how, how do we go about that? Yeah. Okay. Um, that's a good question. Um, now, first of all, actually, it helps to equip ourselves with what are the uh, symptoms, I mean, what are the distress signals, uh, uh, okay? Uh, what are the red flag you know when someone you can see they are um you can you can see that they're having some emotional symptoms uh. so mm -hmm. i just want to share that there is actually um like some kind of a questionnaire okay it's called 
DASS, okay, yeah. DASS actually stands for uh, depression, anxiety, and stress scale. Yeah, and this is, yeah. Um, you can actually go to my website uh, to download it. Uh, later on, uh, Joshua, you can share with them. My website, you can download this DASS. It actually, it's like just 21 question. So you can actually fill up you can do a bit of a self-assessment, yeah. So just like a self-test kit, lah, COVID-19 uh, self-test kit. So this one is a mental health self-test kit, lah. okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, now if some of your family member, you know, does show some sim uh, distress signal, you know, depression or they felt suicidal, uh, mm -hmm. how to approach it? Uh, let me share with you a, a very simple tip, yeah, okay? Uh, it's... It's called the La Technique. Yeah. La. The La okay. Technique. Okay, easy to remember because we're all Malaysian, you know, we all use La, okay? Marila, go, you know, let's go La, okay? The one La. So the La Technique stands for L-A-ish. Okay? Mm. Yeah, okay, this is very important. L is listen. Okay? Yeah. Uh, A is uh, us and H is for help. No, all right. Yeah, so L, listen is meaning you need to spend time and make time to listen to you know that family member or a friend you know who want to share uh, something with you so don't do it in a rush manner number one and be patient if you think you are busy you don't have time don't you know and you schedule a time all but, right uh, yeah dedicate and allocate a specific time to just listen huh? Correct, correct. Because you do it in a rush manner, then the person can 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 sense it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So listen and then uh, in a non-judgmental manner. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and this un and understand what they want to tell what they want to tell you. Okay. Yeah. So number two is ask. Okay. After you listen, then you can ask some question like, okay, tell me actually what happened. Uh, uh, tell me what. What makes you feel like this? Okay, what is troubling you? Hmm. And if you, you know, I think you, if you actually it's, it's not difficult to ask about whether the person have any thoughts about ending their life. All you need to do is do it uh, very tactfully. Uh, that means uh, do it very uh, gently and do it with love. Yeah, okay. Hmm. I yeah. like the idea, doctor, when you mentioned that non-judgmental. So, so don't for, for our audience out there, don't simply say like, Ay, yeah, le -le -u -cham -e -hu -tuan -cham -e. don't, don't say don't don't say something like that that you, it right. might and then you know it might block the, the, the sharing. You know. Correct. Absolutely correct. Yeah. So uh, don't brush it aside, you know. Yeah, yeah. So so basically uh to gently and uh, and be patient and do it with love, you know, genuine care. La. So yeah. you can you can actually ask in this way. Um, some people when they are very down, uh, sometimes they feel like there's no meaning in life. Uh, do you feel that way? Yeah. Mm. Or you can feel that. Um, do you feel like uh very hopeless? Do you feel like there's no hope? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Or the, uh, you, or you can say like, do you feel like sometimes you feel so stressed, so down? You feel like life is so difficult. Yeah. Mm. So this allow the person to open up. Yeah. You see, you see, Joshua, there's a lot of people, sometimes they thought that, oh, when you ask about suicide, yeah, whether you introduce the idea or not. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. A lot of, even, even myself, I think, you know, I, I sometimes we feel like, oh, he's getting there, and then we dare not ask, you know. Uh, uh, actually, yeah, uh, they did a research, you know, and the research found that asking people about suicide and you ask it in the right way, actually uh, actually reduce the incidence of suicide wow wow yes yes because usually the people the person who felt very depressed uh, and suicidal they will want to talk to someone you know before they do you know, before they act on it uh, yeah all right all right wow yeah so so okay that's the a lah, huh? so and the last is the h the help okay mm -hmm. okay if you feel if you are if you are experienced, you have uh, some experience in helping people with emotional uh, problem, then uh, you know, reach out to the person. But if you feel that you are not equipped, 
you don't you you 哎呀，我惊我我惊我应该讲我跟你老我啊，或者唔够经验嘛 ，yeah. Then I recommend that you refer as soon as possible to to a professional, ah, or counselor, psychologist, or psychiatrist. So meaning that to guide the person to reach out for help, yeah. Yeah. So, so in summary, is the LA technique. You know, ah,、uh, once again. This is so powerful. Did, have you have you write a book on this one? <laughs> <laughs> actually, this was、uh, this was actually discovered by or、uh, this was actually、uh, coined by a professor of psychiatry from UKM,、uh, mm. Professor Professor Maniam. So、okay. and I find it very useful, and I've been sharing with people, you know, in all my talks. Mm, mm, mm. But、uh, doctor, I I just want to ask you like like you know sometimes ah、uh, uh, if ah、uh, the the person actually express like what what you said where during during the question ah、uh, time whereby you ask whether you 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 feel hopeless you know you feel like ending your life then everything is yes ah、uh, then probably like like myself ah、uh, I'm 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 putting myself in the shoe then I would thought that you know wow okay um gee then I dare not leave that person you know mm, mm, so. Uh, Uh, so definitely,、uh, then if if、uh, need be, then I would seek,、uh, you know,、uh, what do you call that, a professional help. But if the help doesn't come in time, so what do you think we should do,、uh, or or you know, any any tips on this one? Yeah, yeah, okay.、Mm. So let's go a little bit more in detail, ah.、Uh. So if you feel that there is a, a imminent kind of、uh, danger, ah,、uh, so what should you do? Um. Normally, yes. If the person already have an idea about oh, I, I mean about life is meaning uh meaningless. Okay, usually, um,、uh, they may or may not uh convert it into action. All right.、Mm-hmm. Having the idea uh can be quite common when we feel life is different. I mean, it's too stressful lah.、Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. Um, what we can do is you try to we try to explore. Is there anything that give them meaning to go on? Hmm. Well, I think that's very important tips. Yeah. Yeah. For- yeah. So we want to balance things out so that so we try to bring it to their awareness. Perhaps you know help them to realize, uh, there is, you know, there is still perhaps meaning to go on in life. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, for example, you know, uh. If they, they are reminded of people who love them, you know, maybe a family member who loves them, or、mm. a a true friend,、mm. or perhaps a dream that they have not fulfilled, yeah,、mm. or it could also be their spiritual、uh, or their religion. Okay. You know, okay. Yeah, which can, uh, give them a sense of hope, you know, and、That's、meaning. Yeah.、Mm. Yeah. So that's one. Help them to. Um, uh, guide them into finding、uh, meaning to go on. Number two is,、uh, don't do it alone. Okay,、mm. uh, start start mobilizing support. We call it ah. I I I pan ma lah. I want to go ping ah. Oh, ziki lu gian, ziki lu depress ah. Ah, so mo mo ziki a guan a guan chang ji. Oh, engan le ziki tu mu fan da gao. Oh, yeah. So. You start maybe ask ask him. You know, ah,、uh, is there anyone I can contact? You know, who you think can be so can support you,、uh, yeah. besides besides yourself. So if then maybe reach out to their family of or one or two of their close friend,、yeah. and so that, ah,、uh, if let's say they have a family member who who are supportive, then、uh, get get in touch, ah,、uh, so that you can. Uh, escort. I mean, how to say? Don't say escort. It's like you can at least bring them to a safe environment. So at least the whole Thai Fao K, yeah, Thai Fao K. Ah, you don't leave them alone. Yeah. Or if you think if they tell you or your, I don't want to. I mean, I don't want to go home or something. I mean, they feel that they no no family member and they are actually in. They are worried for their safety. Oh, Joshua, you may want to consider bringing them to a nearby clinic. Mm. Or you may have to bring them to a nearest hospital.、Mm. Emergency help. 
Okay, okay. Yeah, wow, wow. Thanks, thanks, Dr. Vincent. I think uh, these are all very important uh, tips and advice uh, uh, for us uh, and also for the audience out there. Uh, well, yes, I, I think um, that that's um, very uh, helpful and insightful. Then uh, I think let's let's get back to some very positive thing, you know, besides all this, uh, you know, um, very worrying, but, but I think it's very important. But then uh, I think I would like to end the session with some positive uh, vibes, lah, okay? Um, before, you know, going to a, a, a stage whereby it is irreversible, irrever but I think um, it is good to have the mentality or even the readiness to always keep ourselves in a very good and fit uh, mental health. So, so is there ways, you know, especially at this time, um, uh, uh, good tips on good mental health, you know, what, what are the stuff that we can actually uh, uh, get ourselves, you know, uh, even like to self-check or even keep ourselves in a, a more uh, healthy status whereby, you know, uh, uh, even, you know, uh, when the pandemic or even the negativity hits, uh, you you have like like what you said, you have enough strength or, or readiness uh, to fight it. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, thanks for the question. Um absolutely important to to enhance our own well-being yeah so that we can face the storm uh, yeah the yeah. pandemic storm <laughs> okay uh now we're talking about living with the virus yeah okay but people are still worried about going for a cup of tea isn't it okay yeah. <laughs> now um actually uh i'm actually a, a a strong advocate for good mental health i feel that as a psychiatrist you know i don't just uh help people who have depression, but I'm also here to educate people and raise awareness on how to have a good emotional well-being or healthy mind, yeah, okay, or a healthy brain. Uh, yeah. I'd, like to, I'd like to tell you a, just a very simple uh, analogy. Uh. You know, all of us brush teeth, isn't it? Brush our teeth. Yeah, yeah. you brush your teeth at least twice a day, you know, isn't it? Some people brush after every time they makan. Mm -hmm. Now, because we take it, want to take care of our teeth, right? You know why? Because if you get a that you get a caries or get a hole in your teeth, it's gonna be extremely painful, <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna to run to your dentist. Okay. Um. Same thing. You take care of your teeth because you want a dental health, and you mm -hmm. brush your teeth. Now we also will take care of our mental health. So mm -hmm. whenever so sometimes I would joke with my children. You know, whenever they brush their teeth, I would say, "Okay, have you brushed your teeth?" Uh, have you brushed your brain? I said, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because the mind is controlled by the brain. Mm. Um, I want to I want to remind them that you know they need to take care of their mental health. You know, mm. so every time they brush their teeth, they must brush their brain as well. Mm. Okay, yeah, at least twice a day. All right, yeah. Now, how do how do we brush our brain? <laughs> okay, okay. So I'll tell you an acronym that I designed uh, myself. Okay. So in a way, it's copyrighted, <laughs> and it's called Active Life. Yeah, Joshua. Yeah. So it's A C T I V E, L I F E. Mm. Okay. And this will uh encompass the whole uh physical, emotional, uh, and uh what do you call that social, spiritual well being. Mm. Okay. Okay. Number one is A. A is stands for always be thankful. Mm. Yeah, okay um be thankful for whatever you have feel grateful and uh and for those of us i mean who some i mean who don't have religion you know we can still be thankful you know can earn yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. for some of us who have a, a religion you know we will thank god for whatever we have mm -hmm. yeah that's right that's a number two is c c stands for community living Mm. Meaning we all need a community, you know, yeah. we need a social support. All right. And as the saying goes, no man is an island. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Don't, don't isolate yourself. Yeah. Don't isolate. That's right. So always have a, a few friends or family and, and keep in touch, stay connected, mm. uh, and and have a community of support. T is thinking uh healthy thoughts. Yeah. Mm. That means you need to. Uh, what do you call that? Oh, mm -hmm. okay. So mm -hmm. you need to think healthy and realistic thoughts. Okay. So when you have a lot of 
uh, pessimistic thoughts or very negative, you know, it's like, Ayo, those kind of thoughts, Ayo, die, lor, die, lor. Ayo, I'm so scared, lor. you know, what if I get COVID and die, you know, then, then you get more depressed. Yeah, <laughs> and, those are not even real. Yeah, not even real, not even happening. You mm. already worry until the, the yeah. world future. So think healthy and realistic thoughts, okay? And I actually is uh, inner healing, I call it inner healing. What, what do you mean? Meaning, all your hurts and anger or unforgiveness or guilt and all these things need to need to be need to be cleaned up mm, have to deal with it uh-huh. have to deal with it don't sweep it under the carpet so mm. find a trusted person uh, uh, someone you can trust and keep confidential and talk it out and mm. share so that you can uh, you can what do you call that uh, don't keep it inside yeah, at least to unload some stress, uh, huh? Unload some stress, yeah. So you can you can give Joshua a call, you know, and talk to him about your problem. Yeah, yeah. like Chan, like Chan Fong, like that. <laughs> correct, correct. No wonder <laughs> a lot of people need stress, huh? D low. Correct. correct. Yeah. So V. Okay. So V. The active, isn't it? The V stands for value, relationship, and friendship. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Meaning, uh, I mean the you must you know spend time with your family member and friends you know don't abandon your friends uh, even though you can't meet each other now e is the physical health eat well sleep well exercise well yeah Yeah, Mm. very important now the the other one is the l-i-f-e active life l-i-f-e so what is l l stands for lifelong learning meaning keep learning keep uh, increasing your knowledge about health and mental health yeah you know right i actually is actually is actually inhale inhale, inhale means full cup ah. mm. actually is to remind us to breathe well you got a lot of time we feel anxious uh, or worried uh, because we are not breathing well you know joshua we uh, are actually somewhere you know when when you are and uh, you know in anxiety or something you need to do some some breathing techniques or stuff like that to help to yes. calm Correct, correct. You need to, you know, breathe in and out like yeah, when you do Tai Chi like that. Yeah. Uh, you count one to ten, right? If you're angry. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. So actually, when you count one to ten, uh, don't just count, you know, when you're angry, you know, breathe in and out also. Mm. <laughs> and breathe in and out slowly. And then you will, you will calm down. Yeah. So this breathing technique is uh, very important. Yeah. Okay. And lastly, F and E. Mm. F actually... Uh, is feelings express mm. so, as I share just now you know share our feelings to people you can trust yeah yeah I think that's very very important mm. uh, then, then end up you know yeah 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 especially men like us you know Joshua and it's, you know we tend to keep things like we men you know we are not very good in sharing feelings mm. uh, we are we we go home, uh, we don't share our problem. Uh, yeah, and also sometimes I don't know whether it is ego or some sort, you know. Sometimes it, men, men just don't know how to share. Don't know how to share and yeah, yeah, feel it's like, yeah, you know, feel like not, in, it's not, it's like it's not men enough to share our problem with our wife, you know. But actually it is very men to share, you know, your feelings with your wife. Yeah. yeah. And, and uh, you see, that's why we, we men should not turn to the bottle or turn to alcohol when we are stressed, you know. And, mm. uh, and so that is a big mistake. Mm. Uh, okay, last is E. La. E is l- actually just learn to enjoy simple, healthy pleasure, I call it. Yeah, S- yeah. Simple, but healthy. Uh, not alcohol, uh, healthy pleasure. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, learn to spend time and, you know, with your family, have a game of badminton have family movie, play some app games. Uh, you know, like my family like to watch Korean movie nowadays. So yeah. we just enjoy it. Yeah. So yeah. that's the acronym Active Life. Yeah. So well, in fact, in fact, this is this is uh, not as uh, what do you call that? Not not simple, but it's a very precious and good 
advice for good mental health i i really appreciate it and indeed i think um for the audience out there i i hope you could understand and and remember you know uh the the tips that given by dr vincent you know active life uh, uh to not only learn it but also you know uh, pick it up when when someone uh, uh i mean some of your loved one and closer one you know uh, you need you you could actually spell it out and help them right right that's right yeah yeah. All right. Hey, thank you. Thank you, uh, Dr. Vincent, for, for uh, taking this time. And, and we, we are so honored and, uh, you know, um, the, the pleasure of having you. And indeed, uh, for the audience out there, you know, if you want to get in touch with uh, uh, Dr. Vincent, in fact, uh, you can actually go to his uh, website, uh, www goodmentalhealth.com uh, okay uh, i repeat goodmentalhealth.com.my okay goodmentalhealth.com.my so indeed uh, there there are a lot of resources and even like the um the dass right the the um the question is that you, uh, probably you 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 should download one and uh, you know there, there there could be a time that uh, some of your loved one or, or your friends might need it. Uh, um, it I think it, it's even good that you know we uh, ourselves to take a, the day assessment I think it is it is good that from time to time we we self access and and know that you know uh, in, in what kind of a mental uh, health status we are in you know yeah so once again I really want to appreciate and thank you Dr Vincent Wong for taking this time that you know share this very important uh, information and advices especially on this uh, world suicide prevention day and uh, thank you uh, for for uh, pay attention and also uh, if you find this video uh, helpful uh, uh, not only like it please share it uh, to your friends and relatives thank you so much thank you thank you joshua thank you everyone okay good night good night